哒哒哒哒，哒哒哒哒哒。我是熊。哒哒哒哒哒哒，哒哒哒哒哒。That's right. I wish you heaven. It's a Prince song, everybody. It's funny. I like Prince and all the rest of it. Um, we were no, no mean Prince and us looking through things to watch and on. What was it on? The oh right, I player maybe. Um. It was like lots of music things, and I had Prince concert. This Prince concert for the eighties, mid eighties, or I but my it's popular so mid eighties that he did in where was it Dallas or somewhere. Um, and Lynn said, "Oh, does, does Prince watch that?" I went, no, I bought that video. See that video there? It's been like remastered. They've, they've remixed it, taken it a bit out of the grain and all that. Video stuff. Um, I said, no, it's shit. I actually bought it. Where did I buy it? Um, Tower Records in Ar on Argyle Street, I think. Because I was buying all sorts of Prince things. All the albums. I saw Love Sexy tour on the telly. And then for that point, I went around by fucking everything. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll buy this. And it's it's like, there's no getting around it. And I say this as a Prince fan. It can be cringy as fuck. And I've, I've uh, seek hydration, thank you very much. Cringy, like. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just said I don't watch it it's shite. It's that one um I played it before. I played it like the trailer for it or something. On the stream. Some eighties concert and and they punted it as if it's remastered and remixed and all that, like it's some sort of fucking uh what was that? Uh, Disney Plus, Peter Jackson, Beatles thing, was it uh, Get Back? As if it's that. But obviously it isn't, it's it just a fucking concert. But I don't know, This it's as if they punted it as a... Something's been restored. This amazing concert. But it's all filmed fucking, like, video for the telly. You can't get around video. You can't get around blown fucking highlights. And things like that with, with, with video stuff. You know when videos no got a uh, video just looks fucking shite. Kinda. Video back then's only got a certain uh, what you call it? Dynamic range. Between the darkest what it can show is the, is the darkest stuff compared to the lightest stuff. What is it again, everyone? Uh, maybe broadcast quality. Not interlacing, Eddie Purple uh, Bum. Not interlacing. Don't just chuck the word interlacing about. Uh, broadcast quality video in the 80s, what dynamic range would we say? Maybe eight stops, perhaps? Maybe not even. No way, it's not six stops, perhaps. Ooh. 
see, see if you want to really look like you know what you're talking about with photography and things like that. Talk about stops. Um, no, if you if you're wanting the sweet spot where nifty fifty, never open it um, fully. Drop it at least uh, a full stop. Well, and the same goes with any lens. Drop it about uh, two stops from the the maximum. Can you can you drop it down about a third a uh, third there stop? I must have looked it up again, again, and again. What is a fucking stop in photography measure of brightness and well kind of like you know type of thing no right what right wait and I'd never I'd never needed to really know fully I just know if you go like and it's dropping down that whole thing there you go that's like a third there stop each time or something like that fuck knows Like when they go like that, um, yes, these gels, you could use this um, uh, white sort of diffuser stuff for the light, but it will drop uh, the exposure down by about two thirds of a stop. Ah. Or the brightness. I said the video looks fucked, you can't fucking remaster, you can't, nothing you can do. Once you film something in video, that's it, it's fucked. Dead, 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 dead. And I remember that, that concert when I bought it. The qual the the singing was shite. Remember playing it on the stream? I was like, what, what, what's the first song they're doing? Let's go crazy. The singing's fucking shite. No his. But I don't know, like Wendy maybe or Lisa. In that fucking who, who's, who's the other guy? Is it called something like Brown Mark? You just wouldn't know if you just don't know who the fuck I'm talking about. I, I'd say Prince, you're like who what? You just probably think I'm talking about Prince Harry. Yes, sir! Ah, Ken Burgie! The backing, the backing singing was go crazy. It was like go crazy. It just and it's too loud. That's why with this 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 thing they've got on iPlayer or whatever, they've basically like remixed it so you don't fucking hear that as much. And they've mixed it with stuff that wasn't even recorded. And that guy singing in place of Dez, what's his name, who actually sang in like, um, 1989? The guy they've got to sing in that part. Fucking shite. I remembered watching it and, and being like right into Prince, but thinking to myself, this is really quite cringy. And sort of shite. And this bit goes on for ages. Have you ever seen Prince at that James Brown thing? Where he made a bit of fool of himself. The one Michael Jackson got on stage and then... Right. If you imagine that... But... Not as bad as that, I reckon, but there's just some moments that are quite... You'd have to fucking see it. Shite. Get up. I oh, can't be fucked. Pull it up.
I know, no, I've never seen him live. Um, Social State, Tyrannosaurus. It's a television disco. Thanks for something. Three quid. Three quid. Did you buy CDs, tapes, or vinyl? Um, vinyl to begin with, just when I was going up the town to get a record or two. Um, then I preferred tapes. Tapes felt kind of futuristic in a, in a funny sort of way. Um, and then it was CDs, but I had... I think I think when I had like after Love Sexy concert and then I bought like Dirty Mind in 1989, I think they were all tapes. I remember one of the first CDs that I saw was 1989. I remember being in fucking R.S. McCall. No, no, what was it W. H. Smith in Old Gale Street, and I had all these CDs. And there's 1999. I was like, look at that. And I opened it up, and there he is, kind of semi naked inside. In fact, hold on, Prince. 1999. You can sort, not see his ass, but sort of see the curve. That's not right there. Careful. Careful. Am I thinking of Purple Rain? Aye, that there. Like... In a way, you know, you go, oh, that that's, looks good and everything, but also, there's, there's always a bit of a kind of cringy way. Like, I, I, I like Prince and all that. I like Prince. There he is with his, his watercolours or whatever it is and, that, and gloves so he doesn't get any on his horns. But it's kind of like somebody's idea of what sexy is. I don't know. It's like somebody who really looks in the, in the mirror a lot. I'm sexy. I've ever did that. It reminds me, did, did, did you ever see Love Island? One of the first few series where it had... Uh, What's his name? Is it Abs for five on it? He reminded me a prince in a way. Well, you, you had to fucking hear, hear this cunt. He never done anything that embarrassing or anything. But like when he was talking to like a woman that you liked, he had like, what was that again? Like a sort of... No, a hat, but what you call it, like a beanie or whatever the fuck it is, sort of pulled in, aired like one eye, kinda, if I remember correctly, right? And he sort of like talked to him like that while, you know, looking through, you know, kinda like, you know, that, you know, that one eye, like, like Prince here, you know, his hair doing it one side, so you're just seeing through the, the one eye, the other one sort of covered. And he'd be like, he'd like, you know, he didn't like that. Like, fucking look at you. It, it just makes me think. You've seen this in the mirror, haven't you? You've went like that. If I sort of tilt my head in a wee bit and kind of put my ear that one eye, it looks like I'm having a kind of private intimate moment where the person I'm talking to is if I'm peeking through something, you know, like that. Sometimes I think about getting one of these t-shirts in a kind of semi-ironic sort of way. I'm a Prince fan and all the rest of it, but no, I think I just look like a fucking... I think I just look stupid, for want of a better word. Anyway, here's the thing. Social State. Fry thinks of subs. I used to have the uh, cap. I used to wear an old trucker cap. I got given a trucker cap by one of my uh, thingamabobs. Bone on bone pain in the knee? Oh, I hate Watch it. Watch this. I used to suffer from chronic knee pain. Cause I did, did you? Anthony and Niall thinks of subs. 
No, I don't really struggle with craving. Sometimes I feel like eating chocolate, but I know that it's guaranteed shiteness. So it keeps me off it. Anthony Bell come back for your week in Italy. That should buy it now. Coriander. Thanks for subs. Let's give another standard um, for a young man sitting behind you. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up, everybody. It might not be as embarrassing as you think. Now, I heard, 1983, I heard that, see when you see the Prince bit, it's got a time code, because I think he insisted on it being cut out, because it was so, so shite. Everybody, that's Michael Jackson. I love you, yeah. Was Thriller it? Yeah. Eighty two. Aye, so this is like big time I love you. right so he sings right now he does that look better that does that James Brown has a good laugh magic bright thanks now I read somewhere that Michael Jackson then said to James Brown, get Prince up. You don't know. Did that happen? Did it know? You don't know. Right, so here we go. Here's a bit of the time code. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, he says it. He says it. He just insisted. Prince one up. <laughs> That's a good moment. He takes off one of his gloves. Or sexy like. And chucks it out to the loving audience. Who then chucks the glove back. Look. On you go, Prince Show. There you go. Um, I get the feeling Prince at this stage is gone. Um, oh, this isn't it. No, this isn't it. This isn't it the bit. It's got. It's got a kind of no plugged in sound, isn't it? It's not got. Uh, it's not got much of a presence. And maybe Prince is thinking to himself right now because I think Prince is a kind of. Quite an introverted sort of person and doesn't like get put on a spot type. Um, and he's maybe thinking, uh, I cannot, must not, 
come across, likes to be in control, right? can, must not come across as being shite. It's just a clean shit tone, aye. Is that right? I need to, I need to do something now. I'm going to look like I'm sexual, I'm about to come or something like that. I'm going to act like the, 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 the guitars are my cock type of thing. You know that, like I'm getting consumed by sexual energy, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to pull a face. He's like, right. Right. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to go, uh, and then writhe a bit, a wee bit, and sort of put my horn on my face like, I don't, don't know what's coming in me, I'm about to do something really sexual. He's like, I know. Let's get this off. Uh, very good, but James, James Brown, James Brown actually, oh, oh, I think he, I, I just noticed this, I think he looked at his shoulder to see if James was impressed, the way that James was impressed with Michael Jackson, remember Michael Jackson did some James Brown moves, and James Brown was like pure laughing, and he just did a James Brown move. And then looked at his shoulder to James Brown. James Brown's busy, um, I don't know, picking up some empty cups maybe, moving them off the amp. Uh, maybe just go like, just tidy the place up here, would you? Look. James Brown's like, right, let's just, I'll let him get on with it. While I've got a wee moment, just look, look. James Brown's getting on with admin. Hi. Hey, watch. He's not looking. Dad, Dad didn't see you. So he chucked a, a glove out, expecting somebody to go, oh my God, I'm going to keep this forever. He got it chucked right back at him. Guitar sounded shite. I mean, not the plane, but you know, the guitar, and he just thought, right, this is a, this is a dead end here. Right, I'm going to do one, a special thing for, for the Godfather of uh, Soul. Wait a minute. Is he called the Godfather? Of, it's not the Godfather of Funk. So, right. Captain Cook, thanks for sub. What film? Tune every day. Fucking glad to hear it. Welcome back. King Cringe username. Thanks for the bits. I'll tell you about Doogie Blue. Shut Maguire thinks the sub. Sorry to hear that, Shut Maguire. I don't know what happened there. Right, so he's looking again, not. So he does that, right? He does a wee scream, screech sort of thing. Which is valid. It's all right. And he's like, um, um, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Um, he doesn't know what to do. What am I going to do? Uh, uh start. Scatting or something, you know, so that's about the like, what? What's it gonna do? Michael Jackson had something to sing. Hold on, where are we? 421. Let me go back. I love you. 
Is he just sort of making that up? Is he just sort of singing, I love you? This here, though, is, is faster. It's harder to make something up. He's been stitched up. Stitched up like a kipper. What now? What now? Two. What is that? What, what is that? Is he asking for him to clap? What's the, what's what's that? If they just go like that, hey, you there? That news are there? What about you there? Clap. Well done. You ready for the best bit? He thought he could maybe help himself sort of doing swinger on that wee lamp post, which of course isn't a real lamp post. It's just a prop. The light comes off it and everything look. That's that. You know what he could have done? He could have done. I'm going. I'm going. To, I'm going to get back to whatever the fuck I was doing before this. You know what he could have done, but he didn't think. I know just the song he could have done there. He could have done the song. Um. Um. All oh, the critics love you in New York, for the album 1999. See here. No here. See here. It would have been perfect for this. I'm busy, busy, busy doing nothing. <laughs> doing nothing, that's the life for me. <laughs> Which one made it by? What's that? Overnight, saving you cash and carbon while you sleep. Get that carbon saved. Get that carbon. Get some fucking nuclear on a go, man. Nuclear's back, everybody. Nuclear's back. Thank God. Invest in nuclear. People are loving it now because it's all about, don't, you know, nobody can get their heater in nuclear fucking waste. Did you know it lasts this long? Everybody's too busy thinking about how long plastic lasts. Nobody can get their heater in it. It's all about the atmosphere and the planet getting hotter and that kind of thing and that's it. That's what everybody's minds on. Shoot, I just shoot it into space. Nuclear. I don't think there's been any disasters for a while. Right. Right. He could have done this. He could have. He could have done this. 
That was it. That was the right tempo. He should have done that. Another bit he should have done. I'm going to get back to trucking, by the way. Where is it? Give us a moment. I've got to find a bit for you. I'll find a bit for you. Sorry, everybody, I've ruined the stream. Aye. Right, I should have done this. I should have just said that. That's it. As I said before, whenever you watch any interview with anybody who's worked with Prince, and I say this as a Prince fan, there is an undertone as much as they might compliment him, go, oh, you know, uh, a genius. He was a fucking dick. It's always just that wee feeling that they're no one to come out and say it. They, they're no one to come out and say it. And I say that as a Prince fan. I tell you, I tell you what fucking pissed me off. I was watching. Um, an interview with um, Wendy and Lisa. It might have just been Wendy, kind of recent, recently. I don't know if you know, but Wendy and Lisa were in his band, The Revolution. Basically, at the peak of his career. Um, she came up with it, Wendy came up with the intro to Purple Rain, that guitar intro and all the rest of it. Um, there's no denying he's very creative and a uh, brilliant musician and all, the, all that and wrote lots of stuff and brilliant performer, etc, etc. Right. But, I've heard sign of the times, that album, being described as what happens when one man is left to his own devices as if it's see the side of the times that's all him there's this one guy just making stuff up And then I watched this interview with Wendy and Lisa. And Wendy was just listing um, a number of the songs that basically he had left them to work on. Just went, ah, here's an idea. Go and do something with it. Here's an idea. Go and do something with it. You know, she described them. That was that was uh, me and Lisa. That was Thingy. That was Thingy who did that one. That was Thingy who did that one. And I was like, right, I see. So I can imagine them having to bite their fucking tongue for ages. They should come out with it. What would be a good name for a, a book by um, uh, them talking about Prince and how, you know, he's not, not actually that good. He's good, he's brilliant, but he's not maybe as brilliant as what you think. What would be a good title? Shite of the Times. Aye, aye, that's good.
Aye, that's the one. That's it. That's it. We've done, we've done it. The real revolution. No, we've got it. When doves lie. Mm. When doves lie. Yeah. That's perfect. But I really think, and this is a decision for the top, we're going to go with shite of the times. I think we should do uh, when doves lie because it, it's a bit like sort of like a bit lies and it's a one syllable word that rhymes with cry when doves cry we're going with shite of the times that got the strongest reaction in the focus groups Eka Jake thinks of subs how long did it take you to find your way around Ableton? Let me be messing around with it for two weeks and nothing has fucking gone in. Um. Well. It depends what you're. It depends what you're trying to learn. If you're trying to learn too much too soon, it'll just be. It'll just be fucking confusing. You'll be looking at things like the wee bit at the side where you can sort of delay a track by a certain amount of milliseconds and I never fucking touch that. Lots of wee things like that that are pointless. I think the main thing you want to learn is how to make a MIDI track and how do I make an audio track that is like an actual recording of real sound as opposed to MIDI instruments, right? How do I put notes in? How do I change the volume at each track? What's the difference between session view and arrangement view? And then some shortcuts. How do I press play without having to go up to that fucking play button, hit space, things like that. And then... Um, what are some basics that will make it all sound a bit better, like a compressor? That's about it. That's about it. In terms of the in terms of uh, technical stuff. But if you're looking at like an uh, analog synth or whatever, you're going, how do I make sounds up? I don't want to just use these presets. How do I actually make it up? There's tons of videos. So just just search uh, Ableton beginner, 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 beginner. And don't skip anything. Don't go, oh, I can know that. Watch it anyway. Even if you watch a 10 minute video, and there's something in that 30 seconds or a minute, a minute that's um, kind of new to you, I, I'd say it's worthwhile. Because you always find something in all these wee videos where you go, oh, what was that? I didn't know you could do that. Or oh, I can just hide that. I didn't know that. You know, wee things like that. Let's convoice next to sub. What's up, big man? I'll tell you what's up. This first up your fucking ass. Yes! Cooch, thanks to the sub. Thoughts on the M74? Dick trees? I don't know what that is. Trees that look like cocks or something. Nell and Ross, thanks to the sub. Acknowledge the supremacy of the blue usernames. I don't want to get involved. Ifley and Ross Abbott, thanks to subs and three quid. Have you seen the darts player Peter Wright? Real life version of Quantum Because Is that guy with the... Well... Purple hair and all the rest of it? Eh, uh, wait a minute. What's oh, up the back? Mr. Chamfer thinks the bits. Prince and George Harrison concert playing Will McDonald. Oh, I've seen it, aye. Uh, 
it's nice seeing George Harrison's son or pleased and all that. Okay, what's happened here? But you know, it's always a good experiment. I advise you to uh, um, try this. There was a George Harrison tribute concert thing. I don't know. Not long after he died, I'm assuming. Maybe. Um, Prince did a, a guitar solo for it. It was in the 90s or maybe 2000s. And it was good and all the rest of it. Comes on, does that. We bought showmanship, and that's it. And I was watching it, going, "Oh, that's good." Try this when you when you see something like that. Try go like that. It's not that good. And see if it fits. If you know what I mean. If you see something that people say is funny. Or really, t a talent, a talent, a very musical, or anything like that. See what happens if you go like that to yourself, or a film, or there's a moment. Every there's a there's a video going around of this moment, um, an Oscars uh, acceptance speech, and you notice yourself smiling and being happy for them. You're like that, right? Have all you want to go like that. See yourself going like that, being like that. And you go like that. Ah, lot of fucking shite. And because you might find that you're right. Force yourself not to enjoy anything. No, 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 just get a shot. Oh, here, fuck this. Where are we again? What's the name of this place? Abilene. Abilene. Finally, a bit of money. You know, just like... What does this have to do with Prince? Because uh, I'm talking about the, the, co the concert thing. George Harrison thing that he... Uh, MF thinks of the bits. The, uh, the pink bastard's back. 